Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to a very different kind of video. In today's, in this video, we're actually going to go over how I edit my videos, because some of you have asked me kind of to, the, how I do that and uh, have kind of expressed interest in seeing that sort of thing. So I'm just going to show you. I think that's probably kind of a cool little thing. It's a little bit different. I'm not going to do a lot of videos like this. But who knows, maybe if you are a YouTuber, it'll kind of help you out, or maybe you just kind of want to see some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, either way is fine. So basically, when I record, it outputs the file to a folder on my computer called Raw Gameplay Footage. Uh, you can actually see this is the video being recorded right now. Um, I'm using Marillus Action to record right now because it's uh, I find it easier for screen capture than my normal recording software, DxTory. Uh, but either way, it works. Then what I do is I open up my program, or I open up this in a program called Audacity, and I import my audio. Now, when I record a video, I have two audio tracks. The first one, this one here, is the gameplay video, and or the, the game audio, and then the second one is my voice. And it is very, very important, if you are a YouTuber, to do that. Um, so... Let's go in here. Actually, this is not really a good video because I do my, my collaboration videos a little bit differently. Let's do let's do this. Let's do my most recent Hermit Pack uh, video together instead. So I right-click them and I hit Extract Audio. That is a DxTory thing. I don't think most computers will allow you to do that unless you have DxTory. And then you can pretty much only do that from DxTory files, I believe. Um, but anyway... So it'll extract the audio streams, and then we'll be able to play around with them and edit them. Now, this video is not going to cover in detail how I edit audio or why I edit the way I do. I actually just have a chain <laughs> that will allow me to edit all of them at once. But let's grab these three files. And these are my... Oh, just kidding. Some of them aren't actually done yet. These ones are still finishing up. Do, do, do. There we go. Now they're done. So let's actually go over here and grab those three voice files. Like so. Beautiful. And then we're just going to get rid of background noise. Like so. Shouldn't take too long. And then once that's done, I just have a chain in Audacity, which is something you can set up. Audacity is a free program for editing audio. I like it. It works really well. So I just go apply chain and apply to current project. And this will do all of the things that I would normally do um, when I edit. So rather than going in and manually doing each of these steps, I can just hit a chain and it'll apply the whole thing to everything. Uh, and I'm not doing, as I said, this video is not about why I edit my audio the way that I do or any of that kind of stuff. It's just, I'm just showing this little step in the pro. Oh, effect, apply, amplify everything by five decibels. And there we go. I now have audio. And then we can just export all of those at once. So I will have three audio tracks. And now we'll open up Premiere Pro CC, which is the um, the video editing software that I use. I have used other programs, but this is the one that I use and that I really like. So uh, this is Hermit Pack episode 31, I believe. Yes, 31. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to import those three files. Oh, and the associated video files as well. There we go. And then I need to grab some other stuff too. So every video, every series gets its own song that I use uh, as the intro song. For this one, it's Overthrown by Josh Woodward. Uh, and then I've got my end, my end slate stuff, my outro music. A sound effect that I always use, my little swoosh for transitions, if I need it. I don't think it's actually used in this video. Uh, yeah, it is. It'll be used. And then I've got an intro logo for everything as well. 
Hermit pack. There we go. So, first thing to do is grab the first clip, put it in here. I'm going to delete this top track and add an additional track for our audio sounds and all that kind of stuff. Then we'll go over here. And that is our first part. Now, I'm going to bring the volume on this down a little bit because you want to be able to hear me <laughs> over the game. And we'll bring the volume on that up a little bit more as well. And we'll come in here, and this is how I do my intro. My little intro with the fancy graphics and the blur and the, all that stuff. So I'll take the game logo, and I'll just set it up to be three seconds long. Hey. And then we'll go right about there. So it goes for about a second and a quarter. And then about 45, uh, 45 frames. Because uh, I record in 60 frames per second generally. And then we've got some transitions that Adobe comes with. So I've got a push. I've got a cross dissolve. And I'll make... The push 15 frames long, or a quarter of a second. And I'll make the cross dissolve 45 frames long, or three quarters of a second. Then I'll take this swoosh sound effect. You can just find something like that online pretty easily. And I'll just line it up with these push uh, transitions. Then we'll take the fast blur effect. And I'll go 50%. Keyframe it there. And then have it transition to zero. And then last but not least, I will take the intro song. For this one, I actually cut out the beginning of it because it's got this kind of long intro sort of thing going for it. And I'm going to reduce that to minus 21 decibels. And then we'll have my intro, just like so. Hey, guys, Wells Knight here, just like that. So that's all good. Now... Uh, after one minute, I transition out my intro song, so we'll do constant gain, and it'll be a 30-second fade, so that's all good. And then I seem to remember... just happened. Pretty sure this is the one where Iskull broke Hold the on. server. Hold on, let me get this sorted out, and I'll come back to you. Yeah, this is the one where Iskull broke the server. So we're gonna need a transition here to transition to the next clip. So I'm gonna go a quarter of a second on that side. And then we'll grab our second clip and my second audio clip like so. And that'll be right about here. Uh, in Premiere Pro, there are some shortcuts you can use. So C brings up your cut tool and V brings up your select tool. So that's what I'm, that's how I'm jumping. Oop, that's how I'm jumping back and forth between those. And then for my transition, I will just use the push transition in Premiere Pro, 15 frames, and add the swoosh sound effect. So it'll go, and I'll come back to you. All Just right, like guys, that. I am super easy. And you can set up a little favorites folder in Premiere Pro. Uh, if you find yourself using the same transitions over and over and over again, uh, it's very, very beneficial to do that. Uh, just saves you a lot of time bouncing between menus. So we've got a cut here, and I can tell that because I've got a whole section here where I'm not talking. So I know that right here is where I say, I'll be back in a second. Clicking. Huh. Let me see if I can figure this out. I'll be back with you in a minute. There. And then right here is where I'm going to say, and I'm back. All right, guys, I am back. See? Super easy. And we'll go 15 frames before. Grab that. Bring it over. And then we just do the same thing. Push, 15 frames, and swoosh sound effect. With you in a minute. All right, guys. Just like so. Super easy, right? Very, very quick. Now, if I'm doing this, uh, or when I'm doing this, uh, if I'm not talking to you and explaining what I'm doing, uh, I can usually get this done in like... Oh, it takes me probably on average about 10 to 15 minutes to add to edit a video from start to finish, give or take. I mean, there's some variables, obviously, depending on the video and how complicated it is. This might be a cough. <coughs> it was a sneeze. That would do it. You can tell <laughs> it, that when you do this, 
as much as I do, <laughs> eventually be able to just kind of look at these waveforms and be like, hmm, that looks out of place. And you'll just be able to notice things like sneezes and coughs and stuff like that. So, push, 15 seconds, and swoosh. And this video is now about 12 and a half minutes long. And then we'll go right here to cut that. And then finally we move on to our third clip. Start that right about uh, there. Bring that one over. 15 frames, swoosh sound effect, and then we need to mess with our audio levels here as well, minus 8. Uh, I will, I should probably find, this looks like a high point in the audio, let's just make sure you can still hear me over the game. Uh, I'm missing one. Let's just that see. Back. Where's the one I'm missing? Nope, not quite. So game audio needs to go down a bit more. Let's bring it down to minus 12 instead. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Eh, let's go minus 14. Damage. That's not good. That should be good. Where's the one I'm missing? Yep, that's much better. Okay, fantastic. And it looks like there's no cut anywhere in this part. This video will be between 25 and 30 minutes long, which is my normal length, so that's good. And then I, I just gotta find... Uh, where I, I am out episode. of time for this episode, unfortunately. So, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, there we go. That's my little key, if you enjoyed this video. So, I grab my end slate header, put that up here, drag it over, add a push transition. Put the swoosh sound effect right there. Grab my outro song, Way Above the Skyline, by Blue Fox Music. Line this little part up. This is where it goes. Uh, that's where that, the, the, whatever, I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's where the, it's where the thing happens. Uh, but then this will all line up. So you'll see right here for this episode, unfortunately. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget. And there you go. It lines up just like that. Cut that here. And then at the end, I just do a constant gain on the gain or a constant gain on the game audio. A constant gain on the music, and a cross dissolve, and a cross dissolve. Make that one two seconds long for the cross dissolves, which is kind of like a, a, a picture fade out or a video fade out. And then four seconds long on the audio fade out. So at the end, you'll get watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. That. There you go. And that is basically the whole video done and ready to go. So I just go file, export, media. I have a preset for YouTube 1080p 60fps. And then I just hit Q, which will bring it up in Adobe Media Encoder, which you can't actually see right now because it's over on my other screen. Uh, but then I just start it rendering and that's the whole video. So super, super easy. But there you, ha there you have it, guys, how I edit my videos. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit of a different video, but some of you said you were interested in seeing it. Uh, so there it is. If you did enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.